Remember that video I made the other day where I taught you how to put the music uh, in your stream, but not to your VOD? Well, some of the info in that video kind of sucked, and I'm sorry. I need to show you guys how to properly route your audio inside a voice meter and inside your PC so that you can always hear what you need to hear and so that your stream hears what it needs to hear. So this will be a quick video. It's just kind of correcting some of the things I didn't talk about. And I also am going to include a graphic down in the description below that will cover all of this and you can just put it up on your screen and read it and follow the instructions. So sorry, here we go. The first mistake I made was to tell you to set your output in your PC settings to be the same output you had before. Instead, you need to set your output in your PC to voice meter input. Uh, what that does is makes everything you run on your PC, your desktop audio, your game audio, um, everything except your music is now going to go through voice meter first to this channel right here, voice meter VAIO. We could just call it input one because there's two inputs, uh, well, virtual inputs inside of voice meter. So the first one will be all your desktop audio. And the only thing you need to do is make sure you select A1 because when you select A1, this allows you to hear everything. If I were to deselect A1 right now, my game audio, my desktop notifications, anything my PC would normally send to my headphones will just hit voice meter, but I won't hear it. The thing I was right about is that you need to set A1 to be your output device. The other thing I said to do, I don't think I said anything wrong here. Inside your sound preferences, you go here and you need to set the output for your music player to be aux input. If you were to choose the first input, and I wanna make sure that this is very clear, aux input and input are two different things. Aux input is where we're gonna want our music to go. And what that does is sends it to the second channel here, which is called voice meter aux. And that needs to go to A1 so you can hear it. And then B2, because we wanna give it its own channel to send into OBS. All that information about how to set up the OBS side of things is correct in the other video. So just to give more of an understanding of how this works, both of these need to go to A1 because A1 goes to your headphones, but because we are sending everything out of your desktop through a voice meter input first, we can now ensure that it, hear, it hits OBS before it hits your headphones. Does that make sense? So desktop audio inside of OBS will meter regardless of if you have A1 selected. So the important thing is we need to make sure that everything goes into voice meter first and then we send it to our headphones. But like I said, I made a graphic that you can download uh, in the link below and it perfectly describes everything. Uh, I'll put it up on the screen right now just so you can get a glance at it if you just wanna pause the video. What A1 is, what B1 is, and what B2 is. And then all you need to know beyond that is that A1 which is the sum of everything, goes to your headphones, but it does not go into OBS that way. This doesn't apply if you set your settings in OBS to just be default for desktop audio, because then it will automatically just choose voice meter input, which means everything will hit OBS before voice meter, and that's fine, because we're still sending the stuff from our music player separately you need to make sure everything hits voice meter because voice meter is now in charge of your computer's volume. And if you think something's too loud in your headphones, I recommend keeping everything at 100 here because this is an input. If you were to turn it down here, then it would hit voice meter at a less than ideal level. So if you want to turn your headphones down, you can just do it here in the A1 fader. And just to clarify, my audio settings in OBS, I just use desktop audio default. That one is available here called voice meter input. It's not an output because we're capturing it before it goes into voice meter. If you wanted to capture the output B1, you would not do this at all. And you would do a new audio input capture and then you would pick voice meter output. But when you're inside of OBS, your music channel which is output B2, outputs go to inputs in this case. So you wanna make a new audio input capture 
and you're going to choose the input as voice meter aux output. So output to input, if that makes sense. But essentially, I just wanted to get the information out there so that anyone who watched the other video and goes, wait, I hear my music, I don't hear my game. That's because I forgot to teach you how to put your game through voice meter first. When you put something up here on A1, it takes priority. So when I had you set your desktop audio to the same device as voice meter, they were fighting each other and only one could play audio at a time. So sorry about that. If you're like, why the hell can I not hear my game? All I hear is my music. Thank you for watching this video, which I probably didn't have to make if I had taken a little bit more time in the other video, but I had to learn the hard way because I got a new device for my headphones and I'm like, wait, my video is wrong. Something's wrong here. So sorry about that. Hopefully this fixes everything for you. If you have any other questions, there's a link to my Discord in the description. I will answer anyone's questions about tech support when it comes to audio, when it comes to streaming. Just hop in my Discord, shoot me a message. I'm totally fine with helping whoever needs the help. Uh, thanks for watching this video as well as the other video. And hopefully next time I will give you some new information that didn't have to get included in this video. Thank you for watching.